Hello everyone, I'm Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, I shall be dealing with a new method for solving recurrence relation and this method is known as method of characteristic roots. In this video lecture, I shall be largely focusing on the theoretical aspect of the method because it's very important to solve various problems because the method involves various cases depending upon the roots. Okay, so this video lecture will be very important. There are a lot of theoretical terms. We shall decode all those theoretical aspects when I take an example. Mostly in my next video lecture, I will take an example. And then we will interconnect the theory with the problem. Okay, so just uh, jot down all this theory because it has new definitions and terms and terminologies introduced in it. So let us see. The first definition that is required is that a recurrence relation a n equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on up to c r a n minus r where c i's are constant is known as a homogeneous linear recurrence relation. Okay. Now we have to solve such a linear recurrence relation. Now how do we solve this relation? First of all, we let the general solution be a n equal to alpha to the power n. Now understand over here one important thing. This a n has a suffix n. Okay. And we are taking our general solution to be alpha to the power n. So what would happen to a n minus 1? If I write a n minus 1, then the solution will be alpha to the power n minus 1. For a n minus 2, solution will be alpha to the power n minus 2. a n minus r, the solution will be alpha to the power n minus r. Okay, so that that is what is required to be understood. Now, so thus what you have is this is the linear recurrence relation gets converted into this format. Okay, now what you do is you divide both the sides by alpha to the power n minus r. When you divide this entire equation by alpha to the power n minus r, you happen to get this equation that is alpha raised to r equal to c1 alpha raised to r minus 1 plus c2 alpha raised to r minus 2 so on plus cr. Okay, now you shift all these terms onto the other side. So what you get is alpha raised to r minus c1 alpha raised to r minus 1 minus c2 alpha raised to r minus 2 minus and so on up to minus of cr equal to 0. This equation star that you see is known as characteristic equation. Okay, and the roots of this equation would be known as characteristic roots. So that is what I have written it over here. Okay, now this characteristic equation for this recurrence relation we have obtained. Now, first of all, note one fact over here that this equation is of degree r. So, this equation will have at most r roots. Okay, okay. So, and they may be repeated, they may be re uh, real or complex. So, here this much uh, theory is there, you can jot it down very easily. And now let us go for the further observations on this. So this is what I told you, characteristic equation star that we had seen has r roots. Okay, it can have at most r roots because that of the degree, it's a property from the algebra. And now uh, the roots may be real, complex, distinct or repeated. That is what we had seen. Now based on the cases that we can derive from this observation let us see what to get when the roots are real and distinct this is our first case let us see how what is the procedure or what all things can happen over there alpha 1 alpha 2 so on up to alpha r will be the r distinct roots for our characteristic equation okay and then a n equal to a i to the power n is a solution to the recurrence relation. 
and okay now this is a very strong fact from the linear algebra that is a linear combination of all these things is also a solution you need not worry you just have to understand that okay uh, this equation number 2 that I am writing over here is a solution that's it so a n is equals to capital a 1 alpha to the power alpha 1 to the power n plus alpha a 2 alpha 2 to the power n and so on up to a r alpha r to the power n is our solution okay that's what we mean by this uh, uh, linear combination is a solution okay now what you have to do is you have to determine this a1 a2 ar all these r constants that you see a1 capital a1 capital a2 and so on up to ar okay so first of all we understand that this is a this equation number 2 is a solution now to determine these constants what we need is we will be needing our initial conditions so let us call them as a naught dash a1 dash and so on up to a r minus 1 dash now using this solution and the initial conditions that is these are initial conditions we will be getting this equation number 3 there will be such r equations okay these r equations can be solved using gaussian elimination method and then we can determine a1 now what is gaussian elimination method you need not get scared of it when there are only two equation it is nothing but our simultaneous equation okay and when there are three equation we know how to solve them by matrices and using row transformation and column transformation and finally that is nothing but our Gaussian elimination method so this is what the entire procedure is all about so you just go through the entire theory and finally you get your solution for one which will be an explicit solution if you find AIs otherwise what you get is this equation number two as your general solution okay uh, that is what will be your general solution and at the end when we saw uh, we will get if we find a1 a2 ar all those values when substituted in general solution it will be our explicit solution so go through the entire procedure once more all our difficulties will be settled down with the procedure when we see an example along with the theory connected to it okay so till then keep solving good amount of mathematics try to settle down with the theory we will soon see an example on the case that we have seen today and the theory related to it okay till then thank you